Welcome lads, we're back for another video. Today we are looking at 81 rated Gokan Inla. He's got 68 pace, 75 shooting, 81 passing, 77 dribbling, 80 defending and 80 physical. He's got medium medium work rates with 4 star weak foot, 2 star skill moves. He's an okay midfielder frankly, he just fits the bill. He can pass, he can shoot to a certain extent, he can't finish. He's not really rapid but he's quick enough can defend, and he's strong. He's very average. But now, let's move on to some in-game stats. Looking at his skill stats, he's got 82 ball control, 75 dribbling, 59 finishing, 73 kick accuracy, 71 heading accuracy, 87 long passing, 85 short passing, 94 shot power, and 90 long shots. Now, looking at his physical stats, he's got 73 attack and positioning, 70 acceleration, 70 agility, 77 strength, 65 sprint speed, 76 jumping, 79 reactions, decent stats, but as I talked about earlier, horrible finishing, great shot power, good enough passing, can't really play the cam position because of the horrible attacking positioning, but overall, a good player. But now, let's move on to some highlights. As we can see here, it creates a good little opportunity, and I made a little bit of a mistake there, because this guy needs to be shooting it with a power blast not a finesse because of that amazing shot power you want to take advantage of that it's not the fact that he doesn't create chances his dribbling is okay it's not great it's not bad his finishing is just so poor as you can see there he creates a great chance he just can't quite put it away because he has two star skill moves his attacking qualities kind of come down now sure he's in the team generally to defend i did play him at cam just to see what he could do and he wasn't too good in that position frankly but when you play him in a centre mid in a 4-3-3 formation or even CDM at a 4-1-2-1-2 formation, he dominates. How he pulled off this, I don't know. Didn't think he could score a free kick. I mean, he's got 70 free kick accuracy and 66 curve. He probably shouldn't be doing that. But I really liked him, frankly. I mean, I didn't think there was anything wrong with him. I mean, for the price, he's a little expensive for just a kind of role player average player i mean i paid around twenty-five thousand coins i hope that he will drop but he's solid his defending is very good when he needs to tackle someone he's there he's quick enough he's strong he can do that sort of position no problem whatsoever his attacking ability not really for it and that's why i always say suggest play him further back don't let him get into position sure he can score a goal and his shot power is such a great pro because you play this guy at, say, a centre mid position, you're going to get long shots a lot of the time. And this guy is just so good at just cracking it from distance with that 87 long shot. No, not 87 long shots. 90 long shots and 94 shot power. This guy's scoring goals from distance. His passing was exceptionally good, frankly. That's another major pro of this guy, was his ability to pass the ball. He's got a few skill moves, but once again, two-star skill moves, a huge letdown. Anyways, that's the end of this video. Make sure to drop a like, drop a comment, follow me on Twitter, at FIFA Wisdom, and make sure you subscribe so you catch all my videos. And I'm out. Bye-bye.